Hey everyone, this is Brian from SoftwareMedia.com. We're a Microsoft Gold Certified Partner, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Microsoft Business Productivity Online Suite, also known as BPOS. Right now we're running a promotion on our site where if you sign up for a free 30-day trial of BPOS, you get a $25 gift card from SoftwareMedia.com. You can find out more about the promotion up here in the corner of our site. Uh, clicking that brings you to this page, which explains the features and the pricing of BPOS. If you scroll down here to the bottom, you can sign up for the free 30-day trial. Fill in your information here and then expect an email from us soon with more information. Once you sign up for BPOS, you'll receive an email from us that looks like this. Included in this email is your $25 gift card to softwaremedia.com. It's right down here in the bottom. You'll want to follow this link to start your 30-day trial. This will bring you to Microsoft's website. I've already signed up for the trial, so I can't show you. but. Uh, once you fill in all your information, you'll receive an email from Microsoft with information about logging into the admin panel. Once you receive your confirmation email from Microsoft, you will want to point your browser over to the administration center. Just log in. This is the administration panel. Here you have a lot of control over the services that your users get to use as well as the services that you'll use. Over here is your company information. Up here is uh, some frequently accessed um, actions in the BPOS Administration Center, add new user, view user list, and create a service request. Uh, if you want to add a new user, just click here um, and enter in the information. We'll make up a name right now. Say Bill needs an email address. And there we go. It will give us a temporary password. We'll want to write that down and give it to the user who we're assigning the account to. Uh, you have a lot of options here over the privileges that users get. Let's go to the next page. Um, you want to make sure that you sign your service up or your user up for the uh, services that you're using. In this case, we're just using uh, BPOS, so we will give him access to that. And you can set their mailbox size. Um, 25 gigabytes is plenty, and we have plenty of room, so we'll just keep it that way. You can choose to send your user a uh, email with the information so that they can sign on in and start accessing their services on your BPOS account. Here's a list of all the users um, in our account. We have Andy, Bill, Brian, and Tim. Um, from here, there's pretty much information about resetting their password, deleting users, adding users, that type of stuff. Getting your own custom domain name to work with Microsoft BPOS is quite easy. All you need to know is how to change the CNAME records for your domain. If you click up here on Users, you can see a list of domains that's working with your BPOS account. I created a custom uh, domain on my own server uh, for this example, bpmediadesign.com. Uh, it's easy to add a new domain right here. and uh, BPOS will walk you through a wizard to set up your domain, which is quite easy and uh, not too hard to do. Included in your Microsoft BPOS trial is SharePoint Online. SharePoint is a great tool for businesses to share their assets online and create a sort of company intranet without the need for a large IT department or your own servers. Right here are some sites I've already created. I created an example blog, an example meeting place, and an example wiki page. Right now, I'll show you how to create a new page. Come up here to the site collections header and hit new. This brings you to a new page wizard. Right now, uh, we'll create a new page and you can choose from all these templates. You have basic meeting workplace, blank site, blog, document workplace, team site, and wiki site. Right now, we'll create a document workplace. We'll call this BP Media Docs and provide a description and we can allocate some space for this site 
I'll allocate about a gig because we are expecting some users to upload large files to this site. Here we go, let's create it and wait for it to create the page. And voila, here's your new site. Let's go over and access that site now. As we see right here, and we can click this link to go to the site. We'll have to log in again to check it out. And here's our new site. Right here is a uh, area for uh, announcements that users can create to give specific instructions about um, adding documents to the site. Here you can see the members. Right now I'm the only member, but we could add new users very easily. Uh, you just type in their name, you give them permissions, and you can include a personal message that will email them, um, letting them know that they've become part of this SharePoint site. Here's a list of all the users that are using your account. So now we'll go back to the home page. From here we can add a document to the share documents panel by easily clicking add new document. We can choose a document from our local drive. Right now we'll just pick this one as an example and hit OK. And here's our document on the document workplace. This is a great tool for uh, sharing documents that everyone needs in the company if you have multiple offices or if people are traveling or meeting with customers um, out of the office. The next great feature included as part of your BPOS trial is Exchange Online Services. We'll navigate over here to the Exchange Online tab and the first thing that pops up is our global address book. Here we can create uh, new contacts that everyone in your network will be able to see when they log into their online uh, Outlook web access. You have a lot of options here like controlling distribution lists, safe senders, block senders, and creating conference rooms. So let's navigate over and see what your users experience when they log into the BPOS services. They're going to want to go to home.microsoftonline.com and you can choose to have a program that keeps you logged in all the time or just log in directly from the internet. We'll log in directly from the internet. Let's log in with Tim's name. Once you create your domain, in a Microsoft Online Services, you can create all your services and your users' email addresses using your custom domain name. This one is tim at bpmediadesign.com. Sign on in here. And this brings you to what Microsoft is calling your company's portal. From here, you're able to access all the SharePoint sites that you have permission for, as well as your online Outlook web access. Let's click over here and see what Outlook web access looks like for your users. We'll have to log in again. And here we go. Looks just like Outlook that you'd experience on your PC, which is really awesome. Here you can see some emails that this user received to um, join those SharePoint sites that we created. I created a few more before and invited Tim to those, and these emails reflect that. If you click on these, it gives you instructions on how to access the site and the specific instructions about the features that are included as part of the specific SharePoint site. Uh, here you can also get your calendar and contacts. Up here is the address book that I showed you from the Exchange panel. Basically your users get to experience all the features of Outlook that they would on their PC just on a website that they can access from any computer. So let's go back over to the company portal here. Uh, here users can also uh, get some downloads that will help them with uh, the services that are offered as part of BPOS, as well as um, you know just getting straight direct to the SharePoint sites that are part of your network. These are just some of the great features included in the Microsoft Business Online Productivity Suite. I encourage you to log on over to www.softwaremedia.com and sign up for the 30-day trial and start experiencing it yourself. Thanks for listening, and I hope this tutorial helped you learn more about Microsoft BPOS.